Hey Brian and Mary, it's Bridget. I'm out here on your balcony. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and send you a quick video. We're going to do a walkthrough um, in the place. And basically just wanted to um, give you know, something for your documentation and just to help you feel like you are actually here. It's kind of cool. Um, you do have an awesome golf view and you're going to get the sunset views. This is pretty at night too. Um, this entire balcony here has uh, these lights that you see they light up the palm trees it's very nice at night it's really quiet too at night um, right here you have a uh, barbecue grill area and every once in a while you'll see people out here but very rarely so if you do have family and friends out here and you feel like grilling um, you can't grill on your deck but you can grill right there um, and this is located just off the pool deck and you can access it um, via those stairs from the parking garage and you have three levels of parking um, right now I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a quick um, tour of your unit a video tour anyway so here are your patio furniture excuse me here <laughs> here's the patio furniture rather um, in your balcony now every once in a while you're gonna want to have these clean it's about $45 to have yours professionally cleaned I've done it before in the past and scheduled that so I can give you the number or you can do it yourself. I mean, it just takes up room and a little bit of cleaning solution. So here is your unit. This is the queen sleeper sofa and then that pulls out obviously into a bed so you just simply have to remove your coffee table and just move it up a little bit. Um, here is the flooring. This is the uh, carpet that was installed roughly two years ago, probably about a year and a half. Um, and here would be your dining area, living room area combo. There's your TV and TV stand, obviously. Uh, there should be a DVD player for the guests within this cabinet. Um, I did look, there wasn't one, but your rental management company can put them in and they typically put them in and they're only like uh, 20 or 30 bucks. Um, I do, if you do take or decide rather to put in a new one in there. Um, do take pictures and provide your own management company with those pictures uh, for documentation purposes. Um, just right before the balcony here, you do have your closet area and that has these items provided by the rental management company. Any extra blankets, sheet sets that you might need for your sleeper sofa are located within this closet. Obviously your iron, your ironing board, and extra pillows. Um, do check here and make sure that you've got those um, generally when you check in so that you're not in a circumstance with your friends or guests that you know you don't have them. Oftentimes um, during busy season laundry may be running short and that's something that you're definitely going to want on your sleeper sofa. Um, every bedroom in Origin does have a king size bed and a queen sleeper so when you do decide to replace this or your mattress um, within your bed which this one we're gonna have to take a look um, at the mattress it is the original one so that was 2007 we're in 2016 that might be something that when you guys are down here you will have replaced obviously I have a ton of contacts um, in furnishings you may want to look into that um, very cute table very quality table your chairs are in great shape all your furnishings are in great shape I would say mattresses you probably want to go ahead and um, take care of that next time you come down or as needed uh, with the rental management company right there is your view there and I'm telling you I have the <laughs> the balcony door open and you can hear obviously a little bit of the traffic but the golf views are so awesome and you're kind of reminded that you're in Florida you got palms right outside your window it's pretty neat so you're welcome to, and I'll just tell you a few rules here at Origin. You could probably get away with it, but typically they like all of the colors on the outside of the building, as far as in the restrictions, them to be uh, that tan color. Um, so it blends in with the building when you drive by and you don't see all these different colored, uh, you know, lawn chairs, or excuse me, not lawn chairs rather, but patio sets. So that's something to consider if you ever wanted to uh, replace yours. I want to tell you some people and I've seen some really cool tricks for units actually do a higher chair. So 
so you can actually see over your balcony bars something to think about in the future uh, when you come down so I'm just gonna go ahead and give you um, le tour and please excuse me I talk a lot <laughs> and uh, I am not a professional in this so every kitchenette in the studios have a queen sleepers or pardon me have a uh, two burner stove coffee pot microwave and a mini fridge the Merrill Management Company does supply the dishes, so I'm kind of show you real quick what those look like. I don't recommend um, bringing in your own dishes, but if you do decide to do that, um, do provide the rental management company with which dishes that you brought in. Um, one thing I do want to say is that oftentimes when they're washed or something breaks, um, you know, your guest isn't going to go and tell the rental management company they broke something. Every once in a while you'll get that, but not always. I want to show you typically where we keep the pans um, and your blender and a few other kitchen items are down here. Now, I want to tell you also what I have seen in the past for folks that want to have uh, personal storage. They put um, a lock on one of these cabinets be it if you wanted drinks you could put like that would be a good one to put a lock on that cabinet and keep it for yourself um, or any sort of toiletry items that you know you want to keep you know you, if you're not coming very often you're using it it's just purely an investment I mean that's not necessary but generally that's for somebody who who comes frequently and they don't want to bring you know spices and things like that to cook so I want to show you your bathroom here so we have a dryer in the wall, obviously, hair dryer. And something cool that I've seen folks do, and that is to put right here some storage pieces, like little roller pieces to keep toiletry items so that you can keep your vanity area right here actually uh, clear of, you know, any sort of hair products or what have you. And that's me today. I'm in a total country get up. I have a spider in my car and for some reason I'm just scared of them somewhere in boots. <laughs> I don't want to be bitten. Um, so here is your, obviously your toilet and you have your, um, all this is pretty self-explanatory, your towel rack. I've seen these um, replace and have extra space for towels um, and extra hangers. It's something that you'll figure out uh, later as you go along what it is that you know you as a guest would like. Uh, I've seen kind of like hangers right here on the walls. So, And again, you're not restricted to any sort of colors. Um, you can do anything that you want. As is, this unit, I mean, I think it's, I think it's pretty awesome. I don't think it really needs anything. Um, one thing that you're gonna wanna have taken care of, and I can see it right now, is right there at the frame on the bottom of that mirror. You're probably going to want to have it um, repaired or re-adhered. Oftentimes, um, I find it better to even just do that repair yourself um, so that you know it's done right and it doesn't cost you any money. But this happens in the mirrors um, as far as on the bottom because they're really heavy. And again, that's the original piece. So I just wanted to go ahead and point that little bit out. So there is your tour. Um, obviously it's entry, real quick here for flooring, is your tile. Um, now that only goes up to the kitchen level and then you have um, your carpet. In the future, if you wanna consider flooring replacement, I highly recommend some sort of hard floor. Um, stay away from your hardwoods uh, because a lot of those wood laminates now, they have to um, acclimate to the environment and what with the humidity and any potential um, traffic marks. I mean, just to avoid any scratching, a tile would be my recommendation because I've seen a lot of the um, renovation projects and, you know, refreshing projects happen in the units and they just look great with tile and they smell really good. So here is your tour and I'm gonna send this uh, long video and I apologize. But I'm going to send this video along with um, pictures of your unit for you so that you have it on file. Um, oh, real quick here before I go. 
internet cable provided. Now you will have um, your remotes here, but if they're not there, I know this is kind of self-explanatory, but you look right here. That's the only place that they'll put them and they'll have a, a channel guide. And if you need that or you need anything else at all, just call me. I know everybody here and I can have somebody here very quickly. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed your tour and you will get this and some pictures later, you guys. Okay, I hope you have a great day because it is a gorgeous day here. Have a good one. Bye-bye.